it's gonna be my face, like. Welcome, Mike. It's been a while, guys. Waited all day. I'm ready. No, you haven't. <laughs> you knew about this in three minutes. <laughs> Lightning and thunderstorms, because it's been a whirlwind of the past couple days. This is a cool time of year because you're still close enough to the polar jet stream, and then you get that high sun angle and a lot of heating where you can get some really interesting storms, sometimes hail, which we saw, especially over the weekend in Brunswick. Yeah. You were here for that. Lightning is, is one of those things where we see it so often. I don't want to say it becomes something we're not so afraid of, when in reality, it is so dangerous. It's the number one killer, weather killer yeah. in Florida. And there are a lot of people that are scared of it too, like we had company on the weekend. I just remember our friend didn't even want to go outside. You hear the thunder, and maybe for some people we haven't heard it in a whole week. You hear it, clear months. it. Yeah, you said you that yesterday, I love it. We average yeah. about 73 thunderstorms in Jacksonville. Our weather team, we don't want to give it away. We have something <laughs> special for our viewers as we head through the summer months. All the time when I texted you. I tweet. You tweeted that. I have like a half an inch at my house in a half an hour. See, I did that not knowing that was the same. But I know, I know. Wow. This is going off the charts. So basically, we all send texts all the time. Yesterday, my text got a little interesting. No, no, no. no. Oh, dang. What are we talking about? Lightning. It's five okay. times the temperature of the surface of the sun. 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's why I say it way too much. If people are struck by lightning well ahead of the storm and well behind us, looking at rainbows and taking pictures of the backside of these clouds and the modest people get hit by lightning. So and one some thing, of the most dangerous ones, because they're positive, they, where they come at the they come top far of the away. Cloud. Yeah. So lightning can travel up to 10 miles or more outside the clouds. I love when we get nighttime storms mm -hmm. and they're up way out west. You can see the them distance. 100 miles yeah. away. Heat lightning? That's not, not heat, heat lightning. lightning. This exists as a term in the meteorological AMS dictionary. You want to look it up? Kind of now. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial in our field because heat lightning, we all know as meteorologists, it's not caused by heat. It's caused by distant thunderstorms. It's Speaking of heat, though, DFS <laughs> wanted to bump us up to 90 like three days this week. I was like, well, I... when do we normally get to 90 degrees? Usually either April or May, but this year I'm thinking it's like cut Probably. in between. It may be Sunday, like you said. I feel like 90 like, though, regardless. Warmer than that this weekend. If you look at the ice out. Ice are hydrate. <laughs> what is that? That's a dew point. <laughs> so, oh. ISO draw. Ice yes. ISO 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 oh, yeah. ISO yes. 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 The weather term of this episode, isodrosophones. Do boy! It just had been so long since I said that. Yeah. I still don't know how he edits these things because we go on for Yeah, a boy, I cut some of my, oh, yeah, my controversy. <laughs> Eight minutes. <laughs>